thought that man was on drugs. Long story short, one night after taking a copious quantity of drugs, I must have taken about four grams of speed, which meant I wasn't going to sleep for about four nights, five nights. I went to a party and I was drinking a bottle of wine with a friend of mine and all I could think about was God. And I knew that if I took a line of speed that night and burst the blood vessel in my brain, I would have died and I would have gone straight to hell. Because I didn't need anybody to tell me that I was a sinner. I knew I was a sinner. I was proud of being a sinner. I used to sin before I got out of bed in the morning. That's how much of a sinner I was. I used to enjoy it. It used to give me great pleasure. The Bible says that, the, that sin is pleasurable, but it's only for a season. Now one night when I was taking all these drugs and I knew that if I died I was going to go to hell, I could not enjoy it anymore. My lifestyle was killing me. I didn't think I would live to be 21 years old. I was 20 years old. I was addicted to drugs. I was working in a crap job in a factory and I had no future and no hope. The Bible tells us that before we are in Christ, we are without hope. We are without God. We are strangers for the, from the covenants of promise that God has made. And that was me. And I, got, I went home and I got on my knees in my bedroom and I cried out to Jesus. And I said, Jesus, please forgive me. Please come into my life and change me. I didn't set out in life to be a drug addict. I didn't set out in life to be a rebel. And all those things that I've rebelled against, like a normal life, like a job like a house, a mortgage, a wife, children, I'll never have those. And I wept myself to sleep. That's right, I went to sleep on speed and you can't do that. But when I woke up in the morning, something was tangibly different, radically different. I had drug paraphernalia by my bedside table and I pushed it into the waste paper basket. I thought, I don't need that anymore. I got out of bed and I'm walking around my room and I felt completely different. I felt brand new is the only way I can describe it. Brand new. I had a peace that filled me from here to my toes, but it was overflowing. It was like I was bathed in peace. It was like I was floating in peace. And I felt ten tons lighter. The weight that I was carrying that I didn't realise that I'd been carrying for all those years had been lifted and I felt lighter and I thought what has happened to me and then I remembered that the night before I prayed to Jesus Christ the Bible says that there is one mediator between God and man and that is Jesus Christ the Bible says there is no other way Jesus himself who was God in the flesh who was not a man that he should lie said that I am the way I am the life he said there's no other way all these other religions and I'm not talking to you about religion I hate religion I was brought up in bondage to religion I was brought up a Roman Catholic Roman Catholicism did not save me from my sin I was a wicked sinner I was a drug addict I was a thief I was a fornicator I engaged in all sorts of sexual activity I engaged in robbery I was a liar I could not be trusted. I even believed my own lies. I was so deceived. And I was selfish to the core. All I cared about was me, my lifestyle, my drugs, my music, my friends. But Jesus came into my life and he changed me. I don't mean I got religion and I started going to church because I didn't. I started reading the Bible and I found out about this man called Jesus who died on a cross for my sins and for your sins. And I heard about a man that healed the sick. And I experienced that healing in my own life. Jesus healed my life. I didn't have any withdrawal <laughs> symptoms from heroin. I didn't have any withdrawal sickness. I didn't have any cold sweats. I didn't have any paranoia. I didn't have any sleepless nights. I slept like a baby in peace. Because I found out 30 years ago that Jesus Christ is alive. And that the Bible says that whosoever that means anybody, it means nobody's excluded. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And I'm not just talking about saved from a lost eternity. 
and punishment in hell. I'm talking about saved here and now. A lot of religious people think that we'll be healed when we get to heaven, and we will, if we get to heaven. But the healing is for now. Jesus is alive today. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever, and he still forgives today, and he still heals today, and he still delivers today. I could tell you testimony after testimony about how I've been miraculously delivered from death on numerous occasions, from car crashes, from aeroplane crashes, from threats, from gangsters. Today, people, I just want you to listen to what I'm saying. The Bible says that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. There's no other way. If anyone tells you there's another way, that person is a liar and a thief. Thanks for listening. We'll do a bit.